Coming in at number five, yet another comeback. This time by a lady we've missed dearly for quite a while. Good to see her back. As always, looking good, looking scrumptious, keeping it tight. Miss Tony Braxton with hands tied. This this song I liked the moment I heard it, and uh, I just liked it even more the more I heard it. So it, it wound up in uh, heavy rotation. It was a good, strong comeback from a lady who we've missed quite a while. Welcome back, Tony Braxton. Good music once again. Coming in at number four, this song was, uh, it's pretty deep, it's, yeah, I like the, the chord structure, the, the actual tone of the chords and the movement, the progression is very deep and dark and uh, you know as, as always this woman just keeps it so real, she, she talks just like as if you're just, she's just having a conversation, makes you feel like you're in the room along with her talking to you. Moment of honesty. I'm going to sit right here and tell you all that comes to me. Boy, Alicia Keys and Unthinkable. Would you like to do the Unthinkable with Miss Alicia Keys? I bet you would. Anyway, number four, Unthinkable Alicia. <laughs> Three, an artist that I'm guessing a lot of you might not have heard of. Not even sure I can say her last name properly. I don't know if it's Birch or Burke, but came upon her after she did a she did a, a, a single for a soundtrack for a movie last year. I believe it was Valentine's Day, but that wasn't the single that really tipped it off when I did some research on her. Found this song, "Nothing But a Miracle" by Nicole Birch. Uh, Really nice, kind of reminds me a little bit of you know maybe um, Fleetwood Mackish with the uh, with Dreams, a little reminiscent of that, which was one of my favorite songs, but still original enough um, for me to give her some props. Really like this song. Um, Coming in at number two, again, getting a lot of spin from me, getting a lot of play from me over the year, is uh, the Teflon Don CD. You know, um, what can I say? I didn't expect to like that CD that much, and you know it was kind of real hit and miss with that, with, the, with that CD, I have to be honest. The songs I liked, I really liked. The songs I didn't like, I really didn't like. But this was one that... I just could not stop playing. I played it to death. Unfortunately, you know how that works. Sometimes you play something to the point where you didn't even want to hear it anymore. And I unfortunately worked this one to death. But I will bring it back one time just to show you the number two song from the Teflon Don CD, Rick Ross, featuring Neo Super. <laughs> down to the number one track for me, the one that got the most rotation all year long. I'll tell you, this is, a, this is one of my favorite artists. Um, she burst on the scene a couple of years back and I've been liking what she's doing ever since. Been waiting for her to drop something new. She did drop the album last year. Have to say, didn't like it as much as the previous album with I'm not going to write you a love song and many of the miles and all of that. But this one song, and I'll tell you what, I didn't instantly love, love this song. Um, 
but it had something that pulled me in and the more I listened to it the more I just said man this is some heavy stuff as usual Sarah Barrielis or Barrier if you go with the French <laughs> pronunciation um, Love on the Rocks now this song has a chord structure very bright rich chords uh, melodically very pretty but not too pretty but more importantly if you listen to the lyrics there's a lot of double entendre going on and Sarah's talking about some nasty stuff I, I hear you I see you working girl but but she does it in a way she just executes it flawlessly vocal wise and lyrically very creative and I just can't say enough about how well put together this track is number one for me in 2010 Sarah Barrios with Love on the Rocks. it up my top 10 and before I go out I have to give honorable mention I, you know it wouldn't be fair if I left this kid out even though I don't know how I feel about admitting this but I also bumped quite a bit of Justin Bieber didn't like baby 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 that much but I liked uh, I just need somebody to love that was a nice track I like the way he sang it I even like the way Usher sang it um, but I would be remiss if I didn't say that that got quite a bit of rotation and not just because my little ones liked it I liked it too honorable mention did not quite make the top 10 it might just be a technicality because I just couldn't do it and feel good about myself in the morning no offense to Justin young man keep doing your thing but that's the list if you think I slept on something left something major out let me know get at me Vic at BigVicPresents.com that's Vic with a K or respond to the, to the video or whatever. Let me know what I slept on, what you think I missed. But that's what I was feeling for the most part in 2010. Hope you enjoyed it. Get at me next time. I am Big Vic, the super producer. You are the poor soul who wasted 10 minutes of your life. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll get at you next time. Peace.